Are you overwhelmed? You don't know what to prepare for anymore? Well, probably more than likely join the crowd. And next, we're gonna talk all about being overwhelmed and what you need to do. Okay, so you've been watching the news and you've been trying to keep up on all the, the BS that's going on out there in the world. And I'm not gonna get into any of all that stuff and discussion and everything else. I'll leave that to the bigger channels. They can get out there and fight with all the people about it. Uh, we all have our own opinions and everything else and we're just gonna keep it that way. So you're probably overwhelmed with uh, everything that's going on between the pandemic, the riots, uh, hurricane seasons rolling in, We've already had some wicked weather this year as far as, um, you know, different types of storms and tornadoes and everything else. Um, it's only a matter of time before, you know, something happens in any given area this year. It's just like everybody's a target. It doesn't matter where you live. So in that aspect, you need to make sure that you're prepared. Um, coming into this hurricane season, you know, it's the beginning of uh, uh, June here. Uh, well, we're almost halfway through maybe. You know, we've already had three named storms already this year, and we're just getting it started. You know, it just started, what, 12 days ago, 11 days ago? So, you know, everybody just needs to, uh, especially if you live in a hurricane-prone area, you want to make sure that you're, you're really paying attention to what's going on out there in the tropics and the Gulf and everything else, and uh, making sure that you're uh, stocked up. Um, I noticed uh, when I went to the store the other day, uh, a lot of places, uh, the canned goods and stuff were pretty much down again. Um, uh, I believe that it was because, uh, at least here in the state of Florida, you know, they had the um, tax-free days for the hurricane season, so you can buy all kinds of stuff and everything, and that's generally when everybody goes in and stocks up for hurricane season for their supplies, uh, because they save money, not so much, you know, taxes on the food, but on all your other products. So, you know, the biggest thing is you just want to make sure that you're prepared, make sure that you have a plan. Um, you can use these uh, preparedness and plans for any other type of situation that may arise. Um, we don't know what's going to go on with this pandemic uh, as far as is it going to come back and is it going to stick around. Uh, nobody knows. There's too many hypotheticals out there. Uh, people just don't really know what's going to happen. This is uncharted territory and we're just kind of like um, winging it, if you want to say. Uh, you know, you've got all these riots and protesters and everything else, and um, that's not helping the situation out any, I don't believe. Uh, but um, as far as uh, being prepared and everything else, you know, will this help escalate uh, the pandemic? Uh, we don't know that either. Um, there's just too many unknowns with this whole thing. Um, we do know that, you know, they're starting to open things back up, at least in this state, and I think most of the country. Um, I, as far as uh, following all the guidelines and stuff that have been laid out by the government, I don't know how much they're actually doing of that, but, you know, time will tell. Uh, everybody's itching to get that dollar bill back in their pocket. So, my biggest thing that I just wanted to bring to you is, you know, everybody's getting overwhelmed with everything, and it's very easy to do. Um, Maybe you need to unplug for a little while and um, uh, sit back and uh, maybe just enjoy yourself and turn the TV off and don't listen to the news and uh, uh, play some music or something and enjoy some time with your family or whatever it may be. Uh, get out in the woods, practice your survival skills, um, you know, whatever it is that gives you comfort in knowing that you're ready no matter what happens. So on that note, uh, the biggest thing that you want to make sure that you do is just be prepared and make sure that you're uh, staying focused on the task that, that is at hand and make sure that um, you're staying um, stocked up on your supplies as much as you can and uh, I would say having a plan is the biggest thing. You want to make sure that you've got a plan and make sure you've got different contingencies that you can fall back on to uh, in case uh, uh, the shit hits the fan. So on that note, um, if you are looking for anything to do with uh, hurricane preparedness, I did do a hurricane preparedness series. There is uh, roughly about 24, 25 videos in that series. 
I cover all the topics from everything you need from the number one thing, which is water, uh, to food, different types of food, uh, batteries, backups, um, all that kind of stuff. Anything that you may need to have for a hurricane, I covered it. So if you're looking for information on that, if you're new to my channel, or if you're new to an area that is uh, prone to hurricanes, I would suggest that you go back and uh, watch the hurricane season. I'll put a link to it right up here. And um, I hope that uh, my main goal is just to get the information out there and make sure that people are well informed and well aware of what is going to happen at some point in time. It's only a matter of time before your area, if you live anywhere along the Gulf or the East Coast, you're going to get hit by an earth or by a hurricane. You know, the West Coast has got to deal with earthquakes and fires and everything else. So, you know, there's just there's too many uh, variables out there, but you need to be prepared for whatever does come your way. My name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.